monster in this game. Oh my god, Wario. You, you see so many games where like Wario's down 200%, but he has a full deck waff and your opponent's at zero, so yeah. all you need is one there. The best way you have to think about it is like, like playing against Warrior, you only have two stocks because you, he's gonna get a waff. You can't, you can almost, you almost can't avoid it. Right. So you just have to deal with the fact that he's gonna get a waff, and if he's good enough, he's gonna get two. Right. Thunder going over to the Marth. Another Marth we're gonna be seeing. And so I feel like this, this matchup with like Marth and Lucina, you would think it's really good that it's good for them, just because you can't really get in against them. But again, that same point is once Wario gets in, he's gonna be able to do so much damage. Right. There we go. A quick 55%. I'm liking these bike conversions at a. Right. Thunder, or not Thunder, but Kamehame is using. Right. Oh, there's the off stroke. But yeah. that up so, goes so far vertically that right. even that air dodge off stage, you don't really have to worry about it. Ooh, super, super aggressive forward smash right there. Mm -hmm. Gets that short, that short hop nair. Oh, I like that that quick uh, dash up forward tilt instead of dash up dash attack. Mm -hmm. Who goes for the upward uh, shield breaker. Not sure what he was going for. Probably expecting Kamehame to start running in. Ooh. Oh, I love the up B attempt, but that point he kind of he he ate a bit of a punish and if he's going high you would want to just go for an up air instead yeah pressure with the up air because then you don't have to go into free fall and like stop your pressure all right i mean it, it was damage and he didn't die for it so that's eh, true. it's okay that's true and actually he has maybe at 140 percent all right he really wants to close out the stock soon before he gets that read and gets a shield break punish oh he's gonna poke you oh right at tipper range too because he was oh. on that platform yeah. so Hit him right in the stinker. Said, I know you're going to hit me with one of these, so let me hit you with one of those. Yeah, let, let's close this hole, shall we? Boop. So we're going to take this first stock, but catch the jump with that F tilt. Just swipe him out of here. Slap him out of here if you will. Yep. And you see that landing uh, up air. You know, if he lands one of those at, like, low percents, that's a free 40%, 50% right there. He gets so much damage with that landing up air. Going to the other side of the stage, I love that. Uh, when you have the bike, you just you don't want to deal with the ledge guard, so you just go to the other stage, and your All opponent right. has to be ready for it to realize it's happening right. but now you look at that you see he's glowing he's got the waff ready oh yeah like and any nair any up air like yeah. at this percent like you yeah, just have two to minutes yep and you either gotta force him to burn it or just try to kill him before he hits you with it yeah and from what i've seen from kameme is that he doesn't like to go for the waff unless it's like that confirm he's not trying to go for that hard read right unless it's like something that's really punishable well, so he's at 40 percent so you know one falling up air, yep. one nair, one up tilt. That up tilt is really what he's going to be looking for. All right. Ooh, I like oh. that, that shield breaker, you know. Okay. And after that first shield break, you know, Kamehameha is just like, okay, I'm just going to drop shield and, you know, eat the damage rather than, like, die. I like what Kamehameha went for there. Uh, there. He went for the waft in case the Mara tried to up B, but actually the, he just waited a little bit, and I think he's dead from that drift back. He was really right. scared of the back air. I mean, if he didn't drift back, he would have died to that oh, back Yeah, yeah sure. he would have gotten that noggin, but... After told, I believe, just get him out of there. That was yeah. tipper two. You can tell that one hurt. So one stock apiece here. Thunder's looking really good right now. All right. He's been able to take these percents at lower percents, taking either the first stock or keeping it even here at zero percent. And he's already burnt off the first waft. So he could, if he can close this out in the next two minutes, he doesn't have to worry about the waft. All right. But yet again, he might not be able to do that if he just goes for that random up B out of shield. You know, like I don't know if you saw it right there, but both players went for an up tilt and they just kind of whiffed on each other. All up right. throw, double up, up air, or oh, double jump up air. Yeah. And again, there's that fair, but he slides off, so Wario can't get a f uh, further punish off of it. And quick grab, trying to get an edge guard, but not going to find it. Gets yeah. an up air, gets an up air. He's clapping on him. Yep. He's giving him the round of applause. A lot of damage right now. Thunder not really being able to get this hit. Right. I think Kamehameha's finally realized how to hit this uh, hit this type of player. All right. But at least he's out of uh, WAF confirmed for sense now. That's true. But now he has to worry about that down tilt dash attack, which is just an yeah. ugly confirm because you just get that shoulder charge. All right. Right now, Kamehameha's calling out every jump that uh, Thunder wants to do. He's keeping him in the corner for so long. Right. He's kind of ha he has his number. So I feel like he hasn't had a chance to play neutral in a good like minute, minute and a half, and just like that, he just eats a back air and he dies. Yeah, that last talk was just super in Kamehameha's favor. They were looking, so he was looking so good in the early percents. Right. And Kamehameha just kind of figured him out. He's like, all right, this is where I need to hit him. Right. This is where I need to stay back. I was being a little too aggressive. Yeah, I mean, like, Marth kind of, str Marth or Cena, they struggle to, like, get off, off a ledge. I mean, because, like, their only options is, you know, that, that double jump and off of stage to fair or nair or something. And if you're in the air, you can kind of just beat that out with, the, that, with an area of your own before they can throw out their move. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I'd like, to see, uh, I'd like to see Thunder, again, just get that early percent and then just camp out. Never mind, he's going to Sheik. Yep. Ooh, Sheik. Sheik is also just such an interesting character because of the buff Sheik is... Mm -hmm. She gets seen, seen by viable by a lot of characters, a lot of 
players. <laughs> yeah, a lot of players that uh, played Sheik in Smash 4 that don't now, they're like, maybe I'll play Sheik. Yeah. I've seen K9 play a bit of Sheik. I've seen Void play Sheik. I feel can like, do some things, honestly. I feel like in Smash 4, you know, you had Sheik Fair that did like 5 6% each. It was something stupid amount where like a Fair String did like 40%. Mm -hmm. And now like Fair Strings only do like 3 per hit, so you only get like 20%. Yeah. Sheik still has her like godlike neutral, and she still has... She has her confirmed out. She has like down tilt up air, and she still has needles bounce because she's uh, right. a lot more t uh, lenient of a window, so you can actually hit it. Right. So again, she you just have to realize that you even if you get hit 40 times, you're going to be at like 30 percent. So you just have to find that opening right. and you just get your damage. Yep. She effectively has to win neutral twice as much as any other character, mm -hmm. but the trade off is that she has all the tools to win neutral. She still has her godlike neutral. She has yeah. her godlike frame data. Like seeing the resurgence of Sheik is going to be really, uh, it's going to be really satisfying because Sheik was such a cool character in Smash Four. Oh, try oh. going for that drag down up air. That but pesky, yeah, that pesky PS2 platform. I just realized we didn't start on PS2 the last game. Hmm. Yet again, trying going for the near out shield gets punished with the forward tail and gets oh. a counter, but unfortunately not going to be able to land it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, just find tipper up tail. Here's the edge guard or the landing. And yet again, they just reset back to neutral. Yeah, still both players not taking the stock yet. Uh, right. Yeah, the sheet confirms. I'm not. I'm not too keen on what they are, but I know it's like needles bouncing fish. I know like down tilt up air will kill. I right, just going for the dancing blade. All right. I mean, just get just get damage, you know. Yeah, I would like to see him like do the tech where you just roll behind him and then like do a tilt All or right. an F smash, but still wanted to be sure of it. All right. Yeah, again, both players oh, are... Look, there we go. The yep. needle's bouncing fish. Going to finally take off that first stock. No, I feel like a tipper up till... Or a tipper up B almost took it right there. God, Martha up B just has so much, like, knockback. And actually just getting that fair, even though it wasn't a tipper, you're still close enough in the blast zone. All right. Oh, we need that neutral get up. Don't even hit me with that. All right. Oh, air dodges in the stage, but unfortunately getting punished for it. And he's back on the ledge. And again, Kamehameha is just punishing him for it every time he tries to get back on stage. But fortunately, he's only at 56%. Mm -hmm. But still, Thunder not, again, like you said, just not getting these hits in. And Kamehameha's finally starting to go in. Yeah. Oh, gets a parry and gets a forward tilt or forward air out of it. Ooh, throwing down the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, the side B. The, the bomb, basically. I'm really upset because I can't remember the name of it, and it's going to bother me. But you know what? Let's get back into the match. Again, only 40% on Kameme. There we go. Gets a tipper F tilt. Right. Oh, catching the up B. Goes for the down air, but it's really hard to edge guard Sheik, especially if she does that, uh, that up B close to the blast zone because you have to worry about the explosion and then two-framing it. All right. Oh, I don't think he has a jump. No, oh, yeah. never yeah. mind. That was definitely That was off. an interesting uh, side B just to delay your – Recovery a little bit. Oh, actually, just going for the uh, the needles fair, and with the way it popped up, you would have thought it hit. I'm pretty sure he still could have gone for the uh, bouncing fish. Nah. No, okay, oh I was God. about to say like, please don't die. But oh well, we're staying out there with the pressure. I love that yeah. that uh, confidence that Thunder had going into it. All right. You're like, okay, I know you're you're. If you double jump here, you're dying. Yeah. So up, up smash. Even even if you don't hit the tipper, the actual like sour spot has a lot of horizontal knockback, so it's really good to go for on the uh, on the ledge. And just like this, we are at last stock apiece. You know, this could be anybody's game at this point. Yeah, but if we've seen anything from Kamehame at, like, one stock apiece games, you see that he has, like, the upper hand. He's finally able to, like, read his uh, read Thunder's habits and everything. But Thunder, I think he's playing a lot better this game because you see those sparks of, like, when he puts out the aggression, when he's like, all right, I know what I need to do right now. All right. And he just, yeah, again, he just has to realize that, yes, he's getting hit a lot, but she's at 45%, bro. You get that good read. You get that shield break, you get the game. I mean, you get that S smash, you get that game. You know, like yeah, again, yeah. Like Mars still needs to eat a good like thirty percent, forty percent before he's at kill percent. But Sheik is at kill percent at this point. Hey, he needs that good tipper to to take this one. And honestly, I'm gonna be very disgusted if it happens because you're gonna be like, no, not at sixty, but you're like, damn, he had it. Yeah. <laughs> so Kamehameha's still putting on that aggressive neutral, throwing the needles out. I don't want it to come back. Ooh. Quick spot dodge. Oh, my no. God, Tipper. Like I, oh. See, I told you. I told you I was going to be so disgusted. Goes to the runoff downer. I don't really – I don't like that idea because yeah. you could tell he was really eager for the kill. He yeah. almost got it at 70%. Yeah. 
Oh, you saw Sheik didn't feel like that Nair would connect. And then Ooh, gets the down air. down air. Why not? Oh, no. Uh, B, you're going to have the DI, though. He cool. does have the DI. Uh, but no, that's going to be it. Yep, Needle's bouncing fish. Got that confirmed. Right. You saw he was so he was so close to getting that kill. He had he had the the dancing blade. And oh like I was God. thinking, like, if he hits... He's 